baffling, isn't it? This mechanical masterpiece, which only the scientists really understand. Frightening, too, for this invention, this brainchild of the boffins, has created a new disease, the slot machine fever. Go! A pint and a sandwich still means lunch to millions, but it could be threatened by the fully automated self-service canteen. What the fuck was that? ...which have now been adopted by companies like this one in Shropshire. Food for thought, don't you think? Because, oh yeah... Yes, all that is fodder for the hottest of slot machines. admit that this advertising spread would certainly go down well. And if you don't believe us, then ask the hundreds of workers who ah, use ah, this service canteen no, every day. Stop! Ah, ah, no! 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 Stop! No! Ah, ah. All right. All right, you say. The machine can never replace the pretty waitress, but the hard facts of this industrial boom are this industrial boom are. The but workers and management are happily accepting this automated advance. Even the old tea break trolley is obsolete, but no one begrudges this taste of automation. paper cups and drink a toast to the scientists. They've created this slot machine fever, and like it or not, it's here to stay. Incredibly, it wasn't until 1952 that the vending machine business really started to grow. Now it's a multi-million industry, with British brains rapidly catching the Americans and Germans. Round-the-clock service, automatic supermarkets, these are the realities which are emerging. It will all be so simple, as simple in fact as dialing a number. Just imagine it, slaves to a machine. But it's good to know that in this rush of automation, there's one machine which actually gives money to the customer. Soon there won't be any need to litter our streets with empty bottles. Just feed them into the machine if you want a refund. A money back machine. Sadly though, it's just an isolated invention in a slot machine boom which has brought prosperity to men who took a gamble a decade ago. Men like Arthur Brown, who controls his business empire from the seashore seclusion of North Wales and is geared to the vast prospect... The blueprints of business are the future shopping habits of millions. No doubt the housewife will view this revolution with suspicion, but eventually she will accept it as readily as teenagers accepted that other symbol of the slot machines, the jukebox. But listening to those twangy guitars is not enough. Now we have the shilling in the slot jukebox where you can see groups like Sandra Barry and her boys at the drop of a bob. <laughs> 